Hi everybody, so today I'll be taking you through my warm-up routine that I usually do before my classes. All you need is a yoga mat, a roller or a massage ball. So we'll be starting with a few jumping jacks. I usually prefer doing this just to get me going. Make sure you're breathing when you're doing this and don't let your shoulders pop up. going to go into our knee taps. There we go. See if you can pull your knee as close to your chest as possible. Again, keep breathing. Relax your shoulders down. Keep going. Alright. From there, we're going to go into a couple of roll downs. Find this exercise to be extremely useful for warming up your spine. I'll be doing this profile so that you can see me better. There we go. And all the way down. Yee. Push all the way up. And roll up. Make sure your head is coming last. And three more. All the way down. Yee. Catch up. All the way up. Okay, keep going. Make sure your weight is forward. Try not to fall back. Last one. Alright. We do the same exercise in turned out position. This can get a little tricky so feel free to use your hands to find balance. Relax your shoulders down. Last one. Alright. From here, we're going to come into a wider second position turned out. I'm going to do a few of the plies with demi point. So you're going all the way down and all the way down. Right. Keep alternating your feet. You can go a little bit more deeper each time, keeping your hands strong in first position. Alright, from here, you can either keep your hands in first position or keep your hands in, on your waist and we just do normal plies. Breathing. There we pulse. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Coordinate your hands. 6, 7. Keep going. And out. Wait. Alright. From there we go into our lateral stretches. And up. And side. Side and up and side and up. All right. From there, we go down to the mat and we do some basic cat and cows. You can do as slow or as fast as you like. I'm not timing this, so however you feel like doing, you can go ahead and do it. ahead of yourself and drop yourself all the way down to the mat for a puppy stretch. Coming all the way forward into a sphinx pose or a dolphin pose. Alright, from there relax all the way down. 
push yourself up into a nice dry space. Great. Push yourself back into a downward dog and we do a couple of prances and bend one leg then the other. Keep going, keep walking. Alright, from there, bring your right leg all the way up. Stretch it out. And release down. And change legs. Stretch all the way up. And release all the way down. Walk all the way forward into your forward fold. Now you have two options. You can either keep your hands down on the mat or hold your elbows. Whatever you personally like. Just make sure that your weight is forward and you're not falling back. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Alright. Place your hands down on the mat and slowly roll up. Alright. From there we get our ball or a roller, whatever you have. And just massage your feet onto it. I find this to be extremely useful, especially when I have my points class. But generally also in a ballet class, I feel you do a lot of point work. So... I feel this really warms up and prepares your feet. Change leg. You can also substitute a ball with a normal ball like a Costco ball or like a tennis ball. That also works beautifully. Just do a few circles and point and flex just to get your feet going. Change leg, few circles, and then a flex point. Great. From there, last exercise, we do a few leg swings. Uh, you can always do it with a wall or a chair with any kind of support you need, or you can do it how I'm doing. I lost my balance there. <laughs> and change. Alright. So there you go. You have your short, quick warm-up. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.